Well, we're back on the normal RCC grind because we have a couple trucks I brought in and we're going to fix them up. We're not going to fix them up. We're going to do we're going to do some modifications to them. And then from there, we're going to probably resell them, I think. Also, little kitty is coming in today to get an oil change on his truck and maybe his razor. So he should be in sometime today. But this is what we're doing. So this, if you guys remember, this Dodge Cummins I picked up from the city, it doesn't have an engine. Engine was wiped out, they ripped the engine out, and they sold that auction. I picked this up, pretty good deal. And then this is a solid 6.7 Cummins. It has 250K miles, which for a Cummins, that's not that many miles. So, I mean, it, it's a lot of miles for, for a car, but these Cummins are known to last forever. So what we're gonna do this, it sounds a little plain. What I wanna do, is I wanna put a Flow Pro exhaust on this so it sounds better. And then on this truck without the engine, I have an old, old, like 97 Cummins 5912 valve that we're gonna toss in this new truck. So it, it, it'll be interesting. It won't quite have the power that this new 67 engine has, but dude, it'll be sweet. It'll sound good. Uh, it already has a manual trans in it, so we should be good to go. But that's what we got going today. There's just like little service stuff like that that's always coming in the dealership that I'm like, uh, should we put that in the vlog or what? And half the time I don't, but since little kitty's coming in, I'll put that in the vlog. So what I'm gonna do is wheel this one without engine there's no way to get it in there besides pushing it i kind of rolled it off the trailer that was pretty simple but we now we got to push it in there and get it on the lift and then the guys are going to start working on swapping out the engine okay i'm going to turn the wheel there we go and then i'll push from behind with the green machine the hulk the beast we should be good to go i call it the beast because it's got front duels and then on the rear we have tons of weight so this thing this thing can pretty much lift anything it is insane it is insane what this thing can do so I actually need to sell that one. Okay, we got that on the lift. And then one thing I'd like to do is maybe do, maybe change the color on that truck. We may paint that truck to make it look a little nicer. I like the white and black, but that's kind of what the city runs on their trucks and I want to switch it up. I don't know, maybe we'll go black on black if we could get black rims or or we could just do like red on black or red on, <laughs> red on uh, garlic color. That'd be kind of cool. There we go. Oh, shoot. Darn it, dude, I always forget about these giant duels. There's pros and there's cons, and the cons is I always forget we have giant duels and I always run into stuff. There we go. For now, that's good. This one, we'll start right up. We'll back her off there, and then uh, we'll do an exhaust modification. For now, I'm just gonna put it in the to-do list building, and there's a lot in the to-do list building right now. Like I said, it's a six-speed. Got my boots in there, got a little rubber mallet toolbox. Now, I gotta big, give a big shout out to James. Uh, James Daughtery, I think is how you say it. He's a modder that's literally like, yo, dude, whatever you need, I'll do it. Whatever sounds you need, I'll do it. He's just like awesome. And uh, so he did a lot of these sounds to these trucks that you guys are gonna see like at, towards the end of the video. So I just wanna give a huge shout out to him. He, uh, he, he he's an awesome modder. The to-do list consists of this K30 that we bought a while back from Burt. It's all rusted out. And then we actually did this project, the 48 Chevy. That is done, so I guess I can get it out of here. I probably should, so that way we have more room in here. Fire up and back her out. Now this truck isn't for sale, in case any of you guys are wanting to, wanting to buy it. This isn't for sale, but I'm gonna put it out front just because it's a classic truck. Maybe if I get a crazy offer on this truck, we'd put it for sale then. And there we go, sweet. Oh, by the way, Lil Kitty's truck. It, I guess we never really negotiated that last video, but uh, I ended up giving him 45K for that truck. It's a 2020 Duramax, had about 5K miles, uh, and he took 45K, which 45K for that truck, with all the accessories, with the lift, with the wheels, that's that's a pretty good deal. I think we could sell for 50, 55. But uh, oh no, we'll see, I gotta, I gotta move it out of that parking spot. And we actually have a truck just like that for sale too. Fire up the K30, and move her back, there we go. And pull the six, seven forward. Okay, perfect. Now, also, I always used to make fun of people with their tow mirrors out when they drive but some guy commented and he commented a logical reason for why you should have your tow mirrors out. If you have a dually and you have a flatbed, it kind of sticks out. So sometimes it is kind of tough to see if you have your tow mirrors flipped down, it may be kind of tough to see behind you. So that's, that's a good reason. So I don't know, I, I, sorry. I don't mean to always make fun of people. It was just, it was, it was a little joke, I guess. By the way, if you're looking for an Apex game PC, like the one we have there, there's a 10% off sale for the next couple of days. It's called Sp Spooky Good Sale, I think, 10% off. And then you can use the squad discount code, which is another 10% off, so 20% off. Next sale like this isn't gonna be till Black Friday, most likely. Okay, so now 
Gonna put away the Kelmans. I love this Kelmans. Now, one thing I would like to do is do an exhaust modification to this because the Flow Pro exhaust that we're gonna have on, on one of these six sevens, I've had it on, I put it on a different customer's truck and it sounds so good. So maybe not a Flow Pro, but just some exhaust modification to this truck that'd make it sound sweet. Cause I love using this truck. It just, it'd be dope if we had it, if, if it sounded a little better, but don't get me wrong. This is a heck of a good sounding truck right now, as is. And we'll just back this up. Uh, probably back here somewhere. And there we go. This truck's for sale also. I love this truck. I'd hate to see it go, but it is for sale. Well, I was, as I was leaving the office for work today, the boys said, uh, they said they got the truck done. It's been a couple of days and the truck's completely done. Now, they went with their custom paint job on it. It's a two-tone paint job. And then they also added a ranch hand bumper to it. So this truck, now I've heard this truck start up, but I never really got to take a good look at this truck. Like I was kind of around the shop talking to somebody and I heard something start up. And I was like, I bet you that's that 5.9 swap. So they don't really know that I kind of know what it sounds like, but it sounds fabulous. So here's the truck. And also as I was leaving, we have to pick up a boat. I was going to go pick up a boat for RCC. There's a good boat for sale. And we're going to park it back here. I'm going to resell it eventually. It's just like the one the lottery winner took. Bart, Bart, the lottery winner took. But here she is. This is it. So we got a 5'9". They said it was a little tough fitting that thing in there. We got a 5'9 Cummins engine. It's a 97 engine. So 19, it, was, it was made in like 1997. And uh, exhaust is pretty much the same. Straight piped. But this thing sounds so good. It is crazy. So I'll start her up. Let me fire up the door. I'll start her up, and man, this is, oh, dude. Okay, you just gotta hear it for yourself. Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. my gosh, dude. Okay, let me shut it off and start it up one more time just so you guys can hear this. Oh, that is good, that is good. This sounds so good, and then wait till you drive it. Now, guys, in Farm Sim, it's tough to get, it's tough to hear you shifting gears, but James, the guy that worked on this, tried to make it sound the best, like you're shifting gears as you're doing this, which is just, it's sweet. So what we're gonna do now is they, they've done a little testing on the truck. I'm gonna let it warm up for a bit because we're gonna be pulling with it, but we're gonna go hook up to that boat. The boat we're about to pull, it's basically a yacht. You guys have seen it before. It's probably 30, 35,000 pounds. This thing is crazy heavy and hey, it'll be, it'll be a good challenge for this old 5.9. I mean, this thing is literally a mini semi, dude. Okay, let's go pick that thing up. Okay, so I'll try to let you guys listen to the sounds when we're driving this, especially once we get pulling. You should be able to kind of hear it shifting. Yep. <laughs> oh, that is so cool, dude. You can kind of hear it shifting, even though we're maxed out at 51 mile an hour, it's still shifting. And just, see, we're idling down now. Aw, oh, dude, that is sweet. Picked up the boat, I stopped to get a little diesel, fill up with diesel, and grab some pizza. Mainly pizza, we didn't really need diesel. But, um, anyways, this thing, I picked it up, it was just a mile down, down the road that way. So I pulled it for about a mile. Dude, this is heavy. This is heavy. The 5.9, I'm, I'm not gonna lie guys, I can only run it and third gear like if i go to, if i start going to fourth this thing is just too heavy so i keep it slow like 20 ish mile an hour but man <laughs> does this truck sound good when we're going with it okay so what we're gonna do is we're about three miles from rcc we got a mile to go that way and about two more miles to go up uh up north that way so we got three miles we can only do about 20 mile an hour I'm just gonna put the hazards we're gonna go slow and uh, we're gonna see what happens. She's an oversized load for sure. I should probably haul this with a semi. Start her up. <laughs> so I've been running hazards the whole time, but here we go. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I'm telling you guys, it takes it takes a while to get going here. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna go full throttle here. I'll show you guys what she has. We're going full throttle right now. I'm pedaling the metal. <laughs> See, we get up to 20 mile an hour. She starts struggling a bit.
We're pulling. Take a right hand turn. Now we got a little bit of hill coming up. We may have to drop some speed here because this thing is heavy. Come on, old girl. We're pulling. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we're dropping speed. 16 mile an hour. Don't drop to 15. Come on. Oh, 15. Come on. <laughs> you can hear. Okay, so you can hear it shifting right now like a ton. That's it's really cool to hear and stuff, obviously. Oh, there we go. We're getting speed. Nice. Yeah, buddy. She did it. So we're pretty much here. And then I'm going to put, by the way, the track is on hold right now. There's still a lot of work to do to the track. That is on hold right now. For now, the boat, I want to put the boat up front, out front. Last time we put the boat out front, it sold so good. Oh gosh, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. It's going to like push us down this hill. It's okay though. We got room to stop. So I got to figure out a good place for this boat. Oh dude, the yacht, I mean. Not the boat, the yacht. Ah. Oh. Uh, where are we gonna go with it? There's really no good spot out front to put it. I mean, I could kind of put it in the water. Would that be sweet? But then people can't see it off the roadway. Okay, let's get out and go look for a spot. Say we put it out front here? I gotta figure that out. Hmm. You know what would be cool? Is to hook up the yacht to this old Chevy. The 48 Chevy. That'd be pretty sweet. But I have way more trust in the Cummins pulling that yacht compared to this thing. So it doesn't even have trailer brakes. I think for now what I'm gonna do is put it out here, right in front of uh, right in front of the showroom. I think that'll look good. Okay, here we go. Just gonna pull it right out in front here, and oh yeah, I think I'll leave the Cummins hooked up to her. Sweet, she did it. She did it. Everything on the engine, the temps didn't get too high, even though we were revving that thing out. We were maxing that thing out. Transmission temp didn't get too high. Engine temp wasn't too crazy hot, so. It pulled it good. Oh, that thing is huge. I need another boat on that side now. So I guess the next project, which will take a couple of days, is to take this other 6.7 that we bought at auction. This is solid 6.7, 250k miles. Nothing seems to be wrong. I'm gonna have my guys, all I'm gonna have my guys do is put a Flow Pro exhaust. So I guess it won't take a couple of days. I don't know if we have the Flow Pro exhaust in, in stock yet, but uh, once we get in stock, it'll take a couple hours, maybe, if that. Oh, by the way, in real life, Gorilla Man, I don't know if you guys know Gorilla Man in real life, but or you don't know him in real life, but you know Gorilla Man from, uh, from YouTube. He's in a lot of, my, he was in a lot of my videos, I guess. The only, by the way, I know people are going to ask about it. The only reason Gorilla Man's not in my videos is just because, uh, just because we're both crazy busy and stuff and, and he's kind of doing his own thing with Car Mechanic Simulator. I see him all the time in real life. We're close buds and stuff. It's all good. But, uh, anyways. He bought a, uh, a truck in real life. He bought, a, I think, a 2007 Dodge Bighorn 1500 V8. It's got the Hemi. And uh, I guess I probably shouldn't tell you. He'll probably tell you the details on it. But uh, has a couple of little things wrong with it that he's going to fix up and just basically try to flip. And then he's going to try to buy a better, a newer truck and then keep that. But I think this winter, once he gets it fixed up, he's going to drive it all winter. Just because with the snow and stuff. There we go. That's on. Lift her up. I guess we don't really need it lifted up that high, but that's that's cool. And then we're gonna put that new exhaust on there and this thing will sound sick. Here she is, the guys got her done. One thing, we ripped off the, the plow mount. There's a plow mount on there, same with the other truck. The other truck had a plow mount on there and then we put a ranch hand bumper on that truck. I told him to go with that for that truck. I was like, it's got the 12 valve, just make this the heavy duty. Uh, we want longevity out of this truck. Some guy's gonna try to run it to a million miles. Who cares if he bumps into something? once he has a bumper on it he that's what we were going for with that truck now this truck ripped off the plow mount we didn't put a ranch hand bumper of course we put the exhaust on and we kept the we kept the paint job the same and it sounds it sounds pretty good i'm gonna admit the 5.9 swap that truck sounds a ton better than this truck that's just i don't know that's my opinion but we'll fire up see what she sounds like here we go <laughs> she bobs right off but then once you get driving it doesn't sound as good that's the 5.9 in my opinion. It's a little quieter. Okay, it's kind of a lot quieter. <laughs> this... Okay, once you get up to speed, then it sounds pretty good. I guess. But yeah, this is definitely a lot quieter. I like that 5.9 swap. That truck sounds 
ton better. So I'm gonna push, pull this back. And then I don't know if you guys know, but in real life, Spencer TV, he bought a new truck also, a new to him truck. It was a 2011 Ford Ranger. And he bought it basically stock. He actually bought it from the city, just like these trucks technically. Um, Cause the city guys used to drive around a truck like that. And what he's gonna do, he's gonna try to lift it up, put some bigger tires and uh, make that thing an off-road beast. It won't look amazing cause he's gonna do it like as cheap as possible but it'll, it'll, it'll look decent. It'll look better than it does before. That'd be kind of cool to get his little Ford Ranger and farm sim. I bet there is one out there already. But yeah, Spencer TV, he's a truck dude now. Before he was driving a caddy. RCC is usually, usually customized, but this is just a solid work truck, I guess now, with a cool sounding exhaust on it. Cause we're not gonna, I don't plan on doing anything fancy to this truck at all. Besides the exhaust, of course. So for now, there she goes, she's for sale. Pricing on something like this with 250k miles, I, th I, I could still get, honestly, I feel like I, I could still get 30 or in between, in between 25 or 30. Uh, maybe not. It is a pretty new truck though. Does have leather interior, crew cab. I could probably get 25 for this truck still, for sure. Now this truck that we bought, I don't know how much I'm going to ask for this truck. Let's see. It's got the 5.9 in it, which is kind of weird. It's unique though, to have the 5.9. We did put that ranch and bumper on, so that's probably another 700 bucks I could add on to the price. It does have a winch. I think I'm gonna ask 20, I think I'm gonna ask 25K for this truck too. So basically, I guess if a customer comes in, they're like, oh, I could have this truck with the 5.9, or I could have this truck with the 6.7 Cummins in it. What truck do I go with? Because the 5.9 did not have 250k miles on it. It's a used engine, but it didn't have that many miles on it. Because the truck actually got in a wreck and then people pulled the, the engine out of the truck. I think personally, I'd probably go with the 12 valve. I'd come in, try to go with this 5.9 engine. That'd be, it'd be unique. It'd be fun. It'd be pretty sweet, but who knows. So 25k for both. I feel like that's pretty, pretty good pricing on him. It seems like. But... Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed another episode on RCC. It was pretty much basic stuff, normal stuff, just getting the day done, getting stuff done around RCC. Um, pretty much normal day of RCC, nothing crazy. Oh shoot, you know what? Little kitty never came in to get an oil change on his truck. I gotta give him a call and see, uh, and see where he went or what's up with that. Hopefully he knows he has an oil change scheduled. But anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. And hey, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching guys.